Hi, this is Dave Caro. I've been asked to give you a quick update on what's new in Kite 3.0. Well, here's my suggestion for the best way to get to know Kite 3.0. First of all, have a look at the document, What's New in Kite 3.0. You'll find it the same place you found this video. Then, watch this and other video demos to see the new features in action. Let's spend a minute or two just talking about the two big features in Kite 3.0, and then we'll look at some videos of our own right here. So, flash and silverlight support with screen sensing technology. What's new? Well, with Kite 3.0, we give you the ability to look inside the black box of flash and silverlight, which you can now measure, you can now manage. We do it by recording detailed interaction, the mouse clicks, hoverovers, text entry, system key navigation such as tab, enter, or function keys, while you're interacting with the flash. And then, when your script plays, the Flash or Silverlight application is actually exercised by our agent, replaying those steps, not just downloaded. Why that matters? Now you can actually see the performance of your infrastructure when your Flash or Silverlight application makes calls to the network as it runs. The other big feature in this release is the ability to monitor third-party content with virtual pages. Today's pages contain content that come from a lot of different sources. There's your physical page, which has all those sources combined. With Kite 3.0, we give the ability to create filters, which can focus on the content that matters most to you. Let's say you're concerned with ads, CDN-hosted content, and partner deliver content. You can create filters, which in turn create virtual pages. Those virtual pages can then be reported on, they can be trended, alarms can be set. It gives you the focus you need to focus on the exact contents that matter. So let's look at some quick videos of some other features in action. Let's start with the updated, more intuitive recording window. We talked to a lot of new users recently, and some of them actually couldn't find the stop button. So we've labeled it clearly with the word stop. We also found that people wanted to be able to add a direct URL navigation in the middle of a script and then continue navigating within Kite. So we gave you the ability to do that. Finally, you can instantly reset the window the same size as our agent, which comes in handy when doing flash and solar light recording. Now let's move on and talk about page snapshot. If you've got a script with a lot of steps in it, you'll love this new feature called page snapshots. First, I'll run the script in Kite. Now that the script is done, we can come down here, click on this page snapshot, and you've got a thumbnail of each step in the transaction. What I like to do is take this page snapshot and actually put it up here in this main window here. And now it's much, much bigger. And as we step through, we can actually see what was on the page during that step. Nice feature. Let's look at script report. Another request we received quite a lot was uh, give me the ability to share the scope of a script to tell somebody else what a script does without having to have to bring it up in Kite to see. Well, we've created a, a script report. And the script report creates a well-formatted document that you can quite easily print and share or copy and paste into an email. That same report's available from within my keynote at a single click. This next little video vignette shows you a new feature we have for nesting the grouping of results with the group by area. Check it out. Now let's have a look at a new feature called uh, group by area. And that's a palette up at the top of the results where you can drag column headers and instantly group your results. And you can drag as many as you want. So in this case, we've got action, domain, and path. That's basically the page, domain, and the the area of the server that the content is coming from. This is just another way to very quickly look at the results and be able to make quick decisions about where to research uh, issues like what's slow or what changed. Finally, let's have a quick look at the updates to the help system. With Kite 3.0, we've enhanced the online help. You'll find topics in here about completion events, creating virtual actions, recording flash and silver light, creating custom components. And right at the top of help, you'll find information about other sources that can be useful when solving problems, such as the online community, where you can post a question, or going to the Kite microsite to watch a tutorial, contacting Keynote support if you're a customer. And here's the, something you should always bear in mind, is that every page in the help topic has a link at the top and the bottom, which links you to the web version of the page. 
the web version of help can be updated as soon as we know of an issue between releases. So it's always a good idea to have a look there as well. Well, I got to run. I hope you found that interesting. Be sure to watch the other videos and visit us on the online community and drop us feedback at kite.kino.com. Thanks so much.